Good morning, girls. <laughs> what time is it? Eight o'clock. Seven o'clock. Carrot! Carrot! You're gonna play with it? Yeah. Can Layla open it for you? I can open it. I can open it for uh, you. Mama. Okay. <laughs> Bring it over there and play over there. No, he just brought this to me from outside. I didn't even ask for it. Thank you. <laughs> Mommy, look, Lily fell in the watermelon. I did it. Lily, do it. Like that. I'm that knife. Like here. Okay? Um, I'm about to get ready for the day. My voice is still like tired. I've been really like congested since the flight. I'm about to do like my makeup really quick for the day and get dressed. We're actually kind of getting like a later start today. We've been getting up super early and we got up like really early this morning, like when I was vlogging before and then like we fell back asleep. I'm in Florida. Um, we've been here for a couple of days now and we're with Gabby. We have a bunch of fun stuff planned for like my Patreon and like other platforms and stuff, but as of now, I haven't really posted anything yet and I've already like, I've vlogged a bunch of things. I guess I kind of wanted to explain why I'm in Florida because you guys kind of, the last thing that I posted was that I was going to Hawaii. So you guys, I don't know, posting on my Instagram, people probably thought I just was in Hawaii because I was with Gabby and like she used to be out there too. Basically, I'm gonna try to give you guys a rundown on why I'm here. And again, more details probably on my Patreon too because this is one of those stories that is just like, I don't really know how to explain it on here. Before we get into the actual story, this video is sponsored by BetterHelp. As you guys have probably heard, because I've talked about it so many times now, on my channel, I started like actually doing therapy like every other week through BetterHelp. It took me a while to find a therapist that I really liked, but it's so worth like searching. BetterHelp is like, therapy online you get matched up with a therapist for like what you are specifically looking for in therapy you go through a little questionnaire and explain like everything that you basically need for me obviously i had just been through a lot in my childhood and then went through a pretty traumatizing relationship and breakup in this past year so i kind of decided like i need to just like commit to doing it and it was honestly the best decision i've ever made like anytime i'm going through something i feel like less stressed out about it because i know like i don't have to just like internalize it or just like spill to my friends about it who might not really like understand obviously like my friends have always been so amazing and supportive but like talking to somebody who's like literally licensed and trained to like listen to everything you're saying and like help you through everything that you're going through in like healthy ways is like makes me feel so much better through every single thing that I go through. And like, I actually look forward to it every week. Like whenever something happens, like, I can't wait to tell my therapist about this. And I feel like we're like friends, <laughs> but obviously like she's a professional. But yeah, you can do it all from your phone or computer. So I do it on like video calls, but you can also just do a call or you can do like messaging. And the great part is you can usually get matched with a therapist in like 48 hours. So like you can start as soon as you are ready to start almost. And then you just go through and answer a few questions and they will match you with a therapist who will have years of experience with helping people with struggles just like yours or mine. So you guys can go to betterhelp.com slash Yasmin or you can put in like my name, Yasmin Switzer, when you sign up to get a discount when you sign up for therapy. I'll also have the link down in my description below. Honestly, I recommend therapy for like everybody. I'm probably gonna have like my kids do therapy. Like regardless of like anything, I think it's just like so important and helpful for like literally everyone, no matter what your struggles are, to just like have a professional to talk to about things that you're going through in life. But my favorite thing about it is that I've been able to continue doing it while I'm traveling. So I'm able to have my sessions with my therapist while I'm down here in Florida. I also like a lot of times like for me, like my therapist is super flexible. So if I need to like reschedule, she's super nice about it. Anyways, we're gonna keep getting ready. You guys can probably hear all the kids being crazy outside, so I need to get myself done.
Okay, so now I'm gonna explain to you why we're in Florida and why. And explain to you what I've been ranting to my therapist about. Like I said, I'll probably explain more on my Patreon too, where in a more casual format, you guys know. If you don't know about my Patreon, I have a Patreon. Um, I'll have it linked in my description now on YouTube, but uh, yeah, it's kind of like a little podcast series because obviously like, my vlogs are also more like vlog, like real life in the moment vlog. So sometimes when I'm like telling stories, I don't get all the details out or I have to like kind of filter some stuff out for like how YouTube is. Um, but yeah, my Patreon will also like always have more personal sit down style detail. Not that anything on my YouTube channel is going to change necessarily, but uh, so basically I was supposed to go to Hawaii. I posted and told you guys that I was supposed to move to Hawaii, which for me, like I wasn't ever like permanently moving there. We were just going to go there for like an extended period of time. I was debating on like having Willa come be pulled out of school because like they're so strict where we live about like attendance, which is like ridiculous because for me, I would like to live part-time in Delaware and then like part-time elsewhere and like I think that would be completely fine for my kids but then like school is an issue so I'm gonna have to figure that out because honestly like whatever that's a whole other thing and that was the plan we were gonna go out there and it was to stay with relatives to basically to house it and pet sit um for them for a while because they were gonna be leaving for a while right before this trip first of all my kids got sick like about a week before we were supposed to leave to do, to go do this and also on top of like the going to like help my relatives it was also more of like a break for me because this past year has obviously been crazy we moved out moved in with my family or moved in with my grandma which has been amazing but also it's just kind of been like stressful not having my own space i share a room with millie millie will not sleep in her crib if i'm in the room but she also won't sleep in a bed so it's been like kind of stressful but also like I've had more family support than I've like ever had right now for my grandma, which has been incredible, but still it's just been a lot of change. Getting to go and like stay in Hawaii at like a relative's place with the girls, even though I was like going to like help them out, was also really just like gonna be helping me like have like a break and like stuff with my kids right before this trip. <sighs> Basically, like I'm gonna try to give as much detail without like giving too much detail because it's like still kind of like a personal family situation thing but basically right before this trip um so my grandma has custody of my little sisters you guys know that they moved out to delaware to live close to me we used to all live in maryland when i was a teenager i ran away and moved to delaware and then just a few years ago i convinced my grandma to retire and move out closer to delaware or move out to live closer to me in delaware so she moved like five minutes down the road for me and basically um, she's been there for about two years now, but her house, we helped her meet Logan and I, and with our kids, like, Millie was, like, super little at the time, um, helped her move out the entire house, and it got cleaned out, put up on the market. My mother, as you guys know, refused to leave. She was living in the basement. Yeah, she literally just refused to leave, and my grandma kept, like, telling her, like, you gotta go, I need to sell the house, I can't afford to, like, rent there, and also be, like, like, she thought she was gonna be able to just, like, sell it right away, um, and my mom had so much warning, like months of warning. And again, it's, since it's just like her daughter, there was no like lease agreement. My mom never paid rent, anything like that. But yeah, basically she just refused to leave. So after like months of like waiting, we finally decided to go and file for like her to be legally evicted and removed from the home. We finally got like a warrant to like have her actually removed. We just didn't end up going through with it because i don't know my grandma i don't know felt bad for her or whatever you guys know my mom is like an addict so she's literally just like not doing anything good up in that house so yeah basically she just kept giving her more chances and was like okay like we can wait because at the same time everything's going on with my little brother you guys know about all that and like that's a whole other story i think i maybe just gave you guys an update on it but there's like constantly more updates coming and i never know like how soon to share stuff because i'm like this could all change in like a week yeah she never went through with kicking her out because i think she was also kind of using the excuse of like oh i'm trying to get the baby back and like whatever but she also bought a house somewhere else i don't really know what happened with that she's just like a disaster it's still been going on but she's still she's been staying there and uh even more updates on like that whole situation but like the main reason why i like didn't come to hawaii is because my little sister who's like my youngest one still has a pretty 
close relationship with her because she is like very young to understand like everything that goes on and reasonably so you know I, um wants to still be with her mom and um she went out to go visit her for a weekend and she obviously lives in delaware with us and goes to school there i think also my mom is just like i don't know why i'm whispering is it okay my mom was supposed to have her for the weekend never returned her and my grandma and i were like are we gonna have to like drive out and go like get her like this is ridiculous like she goes to school here like they my grandma has full physical custody of them visitation is like as agreed upon by the parties this was not agreed upon by my grandma my grandma agreed for her to go for the weekend and come back sunday night to go to school and my mom just never brings her back and she keeps making excuses my grandma keeps saying like she needs to come back like now like she has school tomorrow kept making excuses kept saying like oh i'll have her back in the morning before school and then like never came monday never came tuesday and my grandma's like freaking out it's kind of hard to like deny her the right to like see my little sister and like try to keep the peace but like it is not a place that kids should be yeah so um she never returns her and then on wednesday finally by the end of the day my grandma's like i cannot take another night of this like she's just missed like three days of school i'm like so stressed out like we have to just go drive around and get her obviously it's like a long drive we didn't want to have to do it because we kept thinking like kept telling us they're coming they're coming anyways we get there disaster um some very alarming and like very sad signs of very bad things happening in the home while both children were there that were honestly very triggering and sad for me to see. Um, me and my sister cried the entire drive back home, like both of us, like it was silent and we just cried. Um, it was really awful. But after all of that happened, this was like probably a week before the trip, like and everything. And then also my kids got sick like the week before the trip. They just had like a bug and like one of them had it and then a few days later the other one had it and like it was weird we didn't know if it was like the same thing or like what was going on but it's just like sick season and i need to not be in delaware ever again for the winter basically after all of this the relative that i was going to stay with kind of was like you should not be halfway like across the world like with all of this like so freshly going on which i totally understood but it was so honestly heartbreaking devastating for me because i was like obviously i want to be here to protect my little sisters and i will do anything for them but also i felt like i was finally like getting a break and getting like having like almost somebody else take care of me and my kids and it just not that my grandma hasn't been she obviously has been but it just was like i felt like i was getting a break and a little escape from like Delaware after like everything and it just all got canceled the day before the trip literally the day I had my life planned around moving like moving out to Hawaii again it was gonna be like potentially like the rest of the school year wait for days I was just very angry at like everyone honestly because like it just felt like I always just get the everything put on me it's like okay you can't go now because you have to make sure that at least protected even though i'm not even you know whatever obviously i love like all of them so 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 much like i love my family so much and i will literally do anything for all of them um and i'm so understanding of like the whole situation so anyways i still ended up coming after like processing for a few days like literally my suitcases were just like fully packed and like my life was like fully planned around this finally i was like okay and Gabby, my friend, was coming to Florida um, the week after I was supposed to leave. And so I was like, and she had just told me that. And I was like, hey, you're going to Florida? And she was like, yeah, like, what are you doing? And I was like, I'm not going to Hawaii anymore. She's like, come down here. I was like, thank God. So um, me and all the girls, we also haven't seen them in so long. And Layla just talks about seeing Lavender, like Gabby's daughter, like all the time. And they literally were so excited, have been playing having so much fun together like the first night we got here they stayed up to like midnight because they were just like laughing and playing like all night we could not get them to settle down it was so cute but and Layla was just like thank you mom I love you so much like, we're only here for a week and I do feel better about it because with everything going on I am only like a two-hour flight away not like halfway across the world only here for a week so but I just kind of had to like replan my life I, I am a planner as much as i also do stuff like spontaneously last minute like book one-way tickets like day before like i am also kind of like a planner and like to have my like weeks and months blocked out and like having like hawaii like being in hawaii and then like other stuff that's coming up later like blocked out and then that just like going down the drain kind of made me very like 
stressed out. We've got other plans when we get home that we will get into on my channel here, but for right now, we're spending the week here with Gabby and the girls in Florida, and I'm gonna bring you along for the day. Well, let's go. I need to get my kids ready, and I need to get clothes. It's kind of chilly down here, and definitely gonna be a little bit chilly on the water, but like, it's been nice. We've been out on the beach, but I think today it's kind of cold. So we need to dress like kind of warm for the boat. We gotta go get dressed and eat something, get packed up, and uh, yeah, let's go. We're going on a boat ride. Why are you taking a picture of us? Oh, sorry, I thought my bracelet just got stuff. I'm taking a video. Why? Because I vlog, so I like take videos throughout my day and then I make like a little movie of like my whole day. A tiny movie? Yeah, it's like a tiny movie, it's called a vlog. What a vlog. It's a video log. It's like a video diary. What are diaries? A diary is like a journal where you like write about your feelings and your thoughts and your life. Oh. Yeah. Layla has like a diary. A yeah. It's is it secret. like where you can write all your secrets? Yeah, I have a diary. I write all my secrets in it. Wait, me too. Do you? Do you? Remember that notebook? Mm-hmm. I have one too. Do you? Do you write your secrets in it? Yeah. What are your secrets, Lavi? Drawing, painting, art, drawing, school. Oh. Mommy, tomorrow can we go to the F P L D H <laughs> yeah. P A I. What? What? What is he saying? <laughs> Because if they're even coming, oh, I don't think they should come because they're going to spend time Oh, wow. That's that a cute Wednesday. picture. Oh, my God. Hey. Oh, that's yeah. I love it. On a Wednesday for Layla. Mm -hmm. Yes, girl. Hey. No. Let me see your outfit. Layla's texting Venice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really like paranoid about alligators whenever I come to Florida and I think I actually scared the kids like telling them <laughs> to be careful about alligators and that okay yeah I'm sorry I'm sorry <laughs> there's no alligators We can all live on it. That's the vibe. <laughs> boat trip the kids and the moms are all like wiped i definitely got a little bread again today from the sun but it was so much fun like, it was like, a great time they're just like exhausted now um not sure what the plan is now for the rest of the day but it looks like the sun's kind of about to set we were planning on trying to surf when we came back because um the waves were like good in like the morning and like in the evening so we might see if the girls want to go down and like we'll try to surf a little bit but Millie stayed here with Gabby's mom because we just didn't have enough space in the car and she's just like a little bit smaller to be like going on the boat. And apparently she was like so good the whole time and came back and she was so happy. Oh, 
Oh my god. Millie Moo. Come back here. She was lolly again. Playing on iPads, being iPad kids. These are like tablets. They're like, I think like Kindle tablets. I don't know, Logan got them for all of them, but they're like little mini size ones. They came with cute little cases and they have like they only really- tablets. They're tablets, yeah. And they kind of just have like games on them, which I kind of like better than them having an iPad when they do have something. I don't know if you can hear me out here because it might be really loud from like the wind and the waves but um I don't think we're gonna go surf because it's honestly really cold out right now and we're just like exhausted so I think we're just going to wind down and probably like shower work on some other stuff tonight so I'm gonna end this vlog here it was such a fun day with the girls out on the boat and we're so excited for the rest of the week here don't forget to check out better health down in the description below I'll also have my patreon linked down in the description below um, also forgot I wanted to put in here. Um, I have a bunch of new music out and coming out. I just released my song at Silence, so I'll have that linked down below as well. Gabby has been like putting it on like every time we're like playing music and it makes me so happy, like my friends supporting me. Um yeah, so I'll have that all down below. Thank you so much for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Um and subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. And I'll see you guys in the next one.